Hello, I'm Tony Ender, Technical Marketing Engineer at Aero Electronics. In this brief video, I will show you how easy it is to control the linear technology data converter board for the Aero SOC kit using a simple Linux-based application. In addition to controlling the data converter board, you will be introduced to the Altera ARM Development Studio, the DS5, which you can use to develop and debug your own applications. For this demo, I will loosely follow the steps described in the user guide for this application. The user guide is downloadable from rocketboards.org page shown on your screen. Let's first assign static IP addresses for the host computer and the target. In the Windows search field, we type ncpa.cpl to find an appropriate Ethernet adapter. We select the correct adapter, drill down to Properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, then set the IP address to 192.168.2.13, and we say OK and close and close. We now have set up the IP address for the host. To set up the IP address on the target, I will use PuTTY. I have PuTTY set up on my taskbar. I bring it up, and I set it for a serial connection. My COM port is COM17, and the speed should be 57,600. And a PuTTY window will open. At this point, we will press the warm reset key on the target, and Linux should start loading. When Linux completes loading, I will log in as root, and no password is required. I'm logging in as root without password. Here I am on the target. I can now set an IP address for this by using the ifconfig command. To check that the target responds to this address, I will do a ping. I see that the target is responding. I will bail out with a control C command. Next, I will have to create a LTC directory where I will copy the application files for the data converter board. So I do a make directory, LTC. I do an ls to show that the directory has been indeed created. To copy the application files into this directory, I will use the embedded shell command that was installed with Cordis. So I'm going to File, Explorer, Altera, 13, Embedded, and here is the embedded command shell.bat file. I double click on it and the shell window will open. I will need to change directories to find the file that will need to be moved to the target. Now I will use secure copy all the files to be put on the target under root, home, LTC directory. I say yes. I enter root as password, and the files should be copied now into the target. To verify that, I go back to the party screen, and I may need to log in as a root again. I say login, root. I do a list, I go to the LTC folder, I do a list here, and here they are, the four files. We now need to install the Linux kernel modules that control the GPIOs on the Altera SOC kit. This will need to be done after every reboot. I am going to go back to the Linux console using PuTTY, and we run the following. First, I change directories. Now I will insert two modules. 
the GPO generic.ko and gpiodw.ko. Now I need to change the permissions on the three applications, ADC, DAC, and DC 934. To do that, I need to go back into the LTC directory. I changed permissions to 555. So it is CHMOD 555 star. I am now ready to execute the three control applications. As an example, I will run the DC 934. Here is the menu with self-explanatory choices. Let's say I want to select a DAC. I select DAC A, then I write and update the DAC. I want to input a voltage, let's say 1.11, and then I want to see what the ADC reads back. Hit 6, and you will see that the DAC will read back 1.10 volts. And that's about it for this demo. Let's move to the Altera DS5. So let's briefly talk about using the ARM DS5 development tool. I will open Eclipse by going to my programs, ARM DS5 Eclipse, and I have a suggested folder that I have created already, DC934 demo. I say OK. I can close this welcome window. And what I need to do is import the project file. So I go File, Import, General, Existing Project into Workspace, Next. I will select the archive file, which I have stored in my Documents folder. I pick the linear DC934 GZ file, and I open it. And I finish. Now the files will show up in my project tab. I need to build a project, so I select DC 934, build project. The next thing to do is to set up a remote system explorer, which will allow us to run and debug programs directly on the target. First step is to go under Windows Perspective. Other, and I select Remote System Explorer. Then I go under Local and right click for New and Connection. Yeah. I select SSH only. For the host name, I give the IP address of my target, which is 192.168.2.12. Host name, for example, we'll call it DevKit Linux. I say next, 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 finish. And now I right click on this entry and go to connect. And I will connect to the target using user ID root and password also root. And now I should be connected to the target. At this point we have the remote system explorer ready and connected and we can start the debugger configuration. Under run, debug configurations and select the S5 debugger. Right click for new and I can name it DevKit Linux dash DC 934. Under connection, I need to go under Altera, Linux application debug, download and debug the application. We are done with this tab. We can hit apply and we go to the Files tab and pick the application. 
on host to be downloaded, which would be the DC 934. Select OK for a target directory. It's going to be home slash root. Same thing for the download and working directory. We are done here. Go to the debugger tab. And here we want to make sure that debug from symbol main is selected and everything else stays unchanged. We hit debug and we say yes to launch this perspective. Files are downloaded to the target and we can hit run. Let's go to the application console window. Now let's say we want to write something to the ADC. I select number three. We want to enter voltage. Let's say 1.23 volts. And then we want to read it back from the ADC. So we hit six. And here it is. The read back value is 1.2219. We can exit from this application window by typing nine, which is the quit command. So with this, I conclude the demonstration for the data converter board using Linux application on the Altera SOC kit. I hope you have enjoyed this brief demo highlighting how easy it is to control Linear Technologies data converter board using a simple Linux application running on the Aero SOC kit. If you have questions or need help with this application, please contact your friendly Aero field applications engineer.